Now we are joined by uh, former Harris County Judge Robert Eccles, who has been help, helping to uh, lead this process forward on behalf of the Texas Central uh, Railway. Uh, as I said, we don't have any answers for you today, but the public visibility to this process is going to ramp up significantly in the next weeks. So and we wanted to make sure that you had the first glimpse of where we were and uh, what the next steps are but also that you help us plant that vision in folks' minds of uh, 2021 and having the transportation options that include high-speed rail between the Houston metro area and DFW metro area. Uh, happy to take questions. Mayor, can you just explain to you what you by the fact that we're going to up? Do you know all your going to start seeing up the commercial public campaign? What are you no, the, uh, and, and some of these questions may be directed to uh, Judge Eccles, but the formal EIS process will begin. And uh, folks up and down along the potential corridor between uh, Houston and, and, and Dallas will be, will be engaged in that process. And so there's going to be a lot more public visibility. And as Mayor Price said, they'll be announced later today about the formal structure to consider the leg between Fort Worth and Dallas. Mayor Parker, I ended the timetable with a break ground and then when will that to be riding this train? Like I said, riding the train, we're talking not until 2021. This is, a lot of things that happen in the life of cities and states. It takes, it takes time to get there. Uh, but the, as Mayor Rollins mentioned, uh, once ground is broken, once the, the exact route is chosen, financing is secured, the potential for thousands and thousands of jobs, construction jobs along the route, as well as uh, the impact on our respective cities, how we build infrastructure around where these, uh, the high-speed rail connects into uh, local transit opportunities uh, is an exciting thing to contemplate. And uh, we're already in conversations down here between the Gulf Coast Rail District and uh, Metro and Harris County about Looking long term about what would happen in our cities, and I know the other two years uh, are as well. How important is it that it gets to downtown cores in both the metro areas? I believe it's essential. Now, it, it may not come directly into a downtown core. What you want, and Mayor Price mentioned it, is it's, the, the best option is if you can have a single seat ride, say from Fort Worth to Dallas down to Houston and into the core. That may not be possible uh, once it reaches the, the cities, but we believe that it's important to go from, from rail right into the best transit option available, which for us would be Metro and our light rail system. So we hope to find a way to connect into the light rail system. Mayor, do you know I, the I, pricing? I, I just want to add that there's no question that we, we've got the largest uh, light rail system in the United States it's got to connect to that and finding the right uh, uh, location as we think about our new lines in, in, in the dark as well. We're going to have to be thinking about that and the land ownership, but we've got to get right downtown. That's where things are happening. Do, do you guys have an a, a idea? That is the hub in all our cities for the development, for the growth, for the ability to connect to our metro <clears throat> systems. For Ward's metro system is just getting going. It's just working on that and so it's ideal that we get into the core. It's hard to specify at this point where we've got to get into the core in the cities. So we've already been we already have systems in development are built out and if you're building your you have a you have a piece of it that's Oh I was just asking, you know, what what are your thoughts about pricing for people to go on these, be competitive compared to airfare, and then if it's privately funded, how do you kind of recoup the cost? Well, you know I'm gonna ask if it can't compete, you have to compete on speed, convenience, and price. And, and speed and convenience are not exactly the same thing. It's speed, convenience, and price. And so in order to be successful, I would assume that they will have to try to compete in all those areas. But this is a, at least for the Houston Dallas leg, it is contemplated to be entirely privately funded. And uh, I don't know what kind of performance they've looked at, but Judge Eccles, come on over and at least introduce yourself. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 